If you are established in yoga, it gives you a sense of union with everything around you. That naturally brings balance and blissfulness. Well, establishing in yoga does not mean a specific practice, <laughs> some philosophy or ideology. It simply means you understand you're a perforated life. <laughs> Normally, in the yogic sciences, human body is described as a citadel with ten gates. How perforated you are or how transparent you are, accordingly, that much in union with the existence you are. Right now, because of these two perforations, we are breathing and you understand that's why you're alive. And it's not just respiration, it needs to happen everywhere. Even perspiration is a kind of… the skin itself is breathing, all this is vital, every subatomic particle is exuding its own connection and communication with the rest of the universe. So, mistaking our individuality to be absolute, taking our individuality seriously is the basis of both losing balance and losing the blissfulness of your existence. So once you are in an experience where in your individuality you understand is a privilege that's been offered to you by creation, but actually you cannot exist for a moment with the rest, without the rest of the creation. You cannot exist for a moment with the rest of what is around you in terms of life. So, you need to know that you are perforated anyway. The skin is full of holes, you have to communicate. Communication does not mean being on social media. Communication is happening all the time. Unfortunately, most human beings do not know the ecstasy of being one with existence. If you allowed one person, really loud one person, you know the joy of knowing a certain amount of oneness at a given moment. That doesn't happen all the time, once in a way. Suppose you knew oneness with everything around you, with the whole existence. Well, <laughs> it is a boundless amount of ecstasy and continuous state of blissfulness. This is what we are referring to as yoga. May you be in yoga. May you be blissful.